The Montreal International Jazz Festival describes slave as a journey from slavery to segregation to mass incarceration. These demonstrators say that story is not for white people to tell. They are co-opting our pain, they are co-opting our suffering, they are co-opting our very history. Way down to Georgia, my sweet baby, where's for me down there? The show draws inspiration from traditional African-American slave songs. Out of the seven people on stage, two are black. The star, singer Betty Bonifaci, is white, and so is the director, Robert Lepage. To me, to see white people playing slaves, that was uh, a bit too much to me. Webster often addresses the history of slavery in his music. He saw an early version of Slave and says while it was well done, the ingredients were all wrong. You could have put forth some black comedians, some black singers, could have discovered new artists, and that was a nice way to introduce new people to the, the realm of medias and culture here in Quebec, and we missed it. Bonifaci and Lepage are defending their art, urging people to see the show before they judge. They add, from our point of view, whether black or white, we all have a responsibility to look at the darkest episodes of our history and try to find some light in them. Controversy aside, Slave has sold out its first five shows. The Jazz Fest, for its part, says its name is synonymous with a global village without gender, race or religion. It says this year is no exception. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.